All right, so I'm in the dashboard of Stripe, which is dashboard.stripe.com. Now I'm assuming you've already created your Stripe account and I am in an almost empty area, which I haven't used this test account for a couple years now. And what I wanna do is I wanna send an invoice using this Stripe account. I'm gonna come down to products and click in billing. And I'm gonna come down to invoices. So in invoices, I wanna create an invoice. And what I wanna do is I first have to add a customer. So we'll call this customer John Smith. Now, since I don't have John Smith in my customer account, I'm gonna add him. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna add an email address for John Smith. In this case, I'm gonna just write test at test.com. The reason why you have to add an email address is that we wanna send this invoice over to John Smith at test at test.com. Now, I'm gonna say save, and this essentially account has been added to my Stripe account. I'll click on that, and I'm in the US, so I'll choose US dollar. If you do work internationally or you are working with different companies that are international, you can also switch your preferred custom currency which you wanna use. In this case, I have US dollar. I'm gonna come down and say, you know what? I'm gonna say add new line item to this product. I'm gonna say built a new house for John Smith. John's gonna get the invoice. How much was the house? I'm gonna say the house was $5,000. It's a great cheap house. He's getting a bargain, no questions asked. In this case, I don't wanna add the product to the product catalog, and I'll say save. And if I come down here, what I get is the option to request payment, or if I already have the client's credit card or debit card, I can also auto charge the customer. In this case, I obviously do not have this one. So I'm gonna say request payment, and I can say how long does this person have per my terms and conditions. I'm gonna say he's got until tomorrow. I want this money pretty darn fast. Now I have a couple ways of payment. I've got a link payment and a card payment. I can also add more methods if I want to, or if I don't want to. It's always up to what I wanna set up and what I've agreed to my client on how he's gonna pay. The delivery is email invoice to customer and make sure I include a link to online payment page. I don't need to worry about the branding, I'm okay for this for right now. And just like that, I can click on send invoice and in a matter of five minutes, John Smith is gonna get this invoice to pay that's all digital.